It is Friday morning, uh, a little chilly, a little wet, but overall it's still a beautiful morning. It is time for the first federal program, and Todd Mansicle, you are hosting today. Yeah, thank you, just Thank you for welcoming us. we got Jody Wynn running the camera today, running the Facebook Live. Check us out on Facebook Live. We have a special guest, good friend Betty Martins, talking about Promise, Indiana, Fulton County. It is a beautiful morning, Paul. It, it is. is. A little rainy out there now. Yeah, I can deal with the rain. It definitely feels like fall out there. But it was easy getting here today, as yes. opposed to a few weeks ago, and I wasn't sure which way we were going, and I think I was making some city workers mad by driving past, <laughs> past barrels. Hey, that's okay, though, because you guys take precedence over what they're doing. <laughs> it's it's going to be a great weekend. It's a nice fall weekend. Some rain today, but tomorrow morning the rain ends, and we got sunny skies for later Saturday and Sunday, and... Good fall temperatures in the 50s and 60s, it sounds like. Yeah, I know. I am uh, definitely excited for this weekend. I'm, I'm hoping it dries out by, you know, at least mid-afternoon Sunday so I can get that mowing that you said. Yeah, that mowing, yeah. That's, uh, I almost need to bail my yard on this. So. Yeah, I'm right there with you. And the fall colors, I mean, should start pretty soon now. I saw yes. some leaves changing, but the good thing is you won't have to rake leaves this weekend. I know, I know, because uh, we already got the, the pumpkin bags ready, so when they're ready to be raked, we got bags for them. Oh, that's nice. Pumpkin bags. I always like those. So do the, the kids. <laughs> they don't still want to jump in them and sit? Well, they'll jump in them, and then we'll rake them back up and then put them in the bags. Well, welcome, Betty. Today. We're glad you could join us today. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate me having an opportunity to give uh, Promise Indiana a plug today, because... Uh, it's only a good thing for everybody that can participate, so we want to try to get as many families to let us help them, help their kids, as uh, possible. That's great. So we'll be, there'll be more on that from Betty in a few minutes. We'll just get through our normal business this morning. Uh, William Shatner traveled to space, real space, actually, on Blue Origin. Are you a Trekkie at all? Yeah, actually, I am. Okay. Um, I actually joked the day he launched that hopefully... The report we get from him is space, the final frontier, not the twilight zone with, uh, you know, oh, yeah. there's something on the wing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I, I did read about that a little bit. He saw gremlins on the wing, the twilight yeah. zone, and the final frontier. Yeah. Haven't you seen that one? Yeah, I have. I've seen oh that. my gosh. I, I about couldn't open a dark, uh, curtain on a window at night thanks to that for years. <laughs> Are you a Trekkie, Betty, at all? Uh, just a little bit. I, that, I was, always... that was on TV in 19... 69, yeah. 66 to 69, so we watched was in our prime age. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So other news today, uh, the FDA panel of medical experts recommended the Moderna COVID booster shot for FDA approval probably later next week, and the Johnson & Johnson booster shot will be reviewed today for preliminary approval and final approval next week, hopefully. Yay! Good. Yeah, it's good news. <laughs> good. Got some tech, tech talk today and some news. Okay. Apple Watch Series 7 comes out today. You can buy your new Apple Watch. Jeez. iPhone 13, Apple Watch 7. Yeah. Lots of numbers out there. You yes. know. Speaking of numbers, it's only uh, 3 399 for the small one. That's 399 oh, yeah. uh -huh. And 429 for the bigger model. Ah. The good news is it charges in about one-third of the time, and the charge will last 18 hours. Okay. Which is good. You want to have your watch, you know, operate all day long. Right. Are you, uh, are you going to upgrade? No. No, this is working fine. <laughs> <laughs> so is this one that doesn't have any of those buttons. It's okay. just a regular watch. <laughs> yeah. You got that old-fashioned pass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Old-fashioned. Thanks. Thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <man. laughs> uh, hard to believe. Christmas around the corner. Best yeah. Buy is starting their... Black Friday sales starting um, next Tuesday. Oh, wait a minute. Black Friday yeah. on? Black uh, Friday on, on a Tuesday on a for a Tuesday. whole month. <laughs> and they have Black Friday guarantee, so if you buy something next week in their preliminary sale, if it goes lower, you can still get the lower price. Mm. It's like a pretty interesting deals are out there. I mean, already they're selling a 70-inch Samsung TV for $599. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. They got that PlayStation 5 on sale? I don't know. <laughs> if they can get any of those? That's true. They're probably on those ships still out in Long Beach and Los Angeles Harbor. Yeah. No yeah. Kidding. No kidding. I saw a story uh, yesterday that I saw actually on the news this morning about self-driving cars in San Francisco. Uh -oh. Apparently there's some confusion that 
some cars are going through what they think is a through street. This is really a dead end. Oh, no. So, like, 50 self-driving cars go to the street, and then they try to maneuver their way out of it. And I guess it's <laughs> fairly comical. And uh, they're trying to redo the programming because uh, these cars are confused. Upsy-daisy. I'm going to have to go find this story. I want to watch this. <laughs> I do, too. I do, too. <laughs> it's pretty humorous. It's kind of like regular human drivers in a lot of ways. <laughs> Betty said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, no comments on my driving. Oh, sorry. I, I have never ridden with Todd. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> Trivia today. <coughs> We're going to be talking about, because of Promise Indiana, one of the major benefits in addition to helping fund school for uh, additional education for students is a tax credit mm -hmm. for donations. So mm -hmm. okay. our question is today, and if you listen closely, you'll probably hear the answer later, so we want to give you an advantage here. What is the Indiana tax credit amount for contributions to the Promise Indiana 529 account? As we were talking before the show, you participate in that with your kids already, so you probably know. Is it A, 10%, B, 15%, or C, 20%? Okay. i got to think long and hard about that because I've never actually used the deduction side of it. Yeah, we gotta, we'll, we'll talk about that because that is one of the benefits that uh, we want to go over today. Mm -hmm. Lots of sports news. Lots. Rochester Volleyball would be playing in the section, sectional semifinals on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Cast and Boys Soccer lost in the regional semifinals last night. Oh, then last week of regular season football. Yes. And the playoffs start next week. McConaughey's at Rochester at home this evening. Yep. WROI Giant FM will be out there, right? 6.30 for senior night. Oh, 6.30 oh. pregame show, 7 yep. game time, senior yep. night. Yes. That's always a special time. It is. Mm -hmm. Southwoods at Tippecanoe Valley, Triton at Winnemac, Culver's at LaVille, Knox is at Caston. I know you probably stayed up late last night to watch this and see the Dodgers beat the Giants. No, no I heard about it. In the ninth yeah. inning. I heard about it. I watched a couple innings of it. It was real, very good baseball. Mm -hmm. I, I, my team doesn't exist anymore, so. <laughs> the Guardians, yeah. It's yeah, the, I know. The Guardians I next year, right? Big change that I gotta get used to. Have you I might your start, logo wear yet? No, I might just start referring to them as uh, Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> that way, I don't get it wrong. <laughs> also, last night, Tampa Bay beat the Eagles, twenty-eight, twenty-two. Uh, college football going on this weekend. Yeah. Number ten, Michigan State is at Betty and I's alma mater, Indiana University. Go Hoosiers. And Jody's. And Jody's, too. Yeah, we've got three Hoosiers in here. I'm the only uh, non-IU student in the room. Well, we can work on that. We still, we, yeah, there's still time. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the game at noon tomorrow on Fox Sports 1. Purdue is at number two, Iowa. That's at 3.30 on ABC. It'll be a tough game for them. Oh, yeah. You know, Iowa number two. Indiana played them earlier this year. Indiana has... Of the six teams they have played, four of them have been in the top ten. Yes. And they've got two more games scheduled with top ten teams. So, yeah. As an eternal optimist, I was looking at their schedule. They could still finish at least six and six. Okay. If you get a bowl game. There's still uh, You're saying a, there's a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> but I'm a Cubs fan, Debbie. Too, oh, well, so there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your football, Cubs? Win. <laughs> and Paul is a Cleveland fan, so. Yeah. <laughs> there's always a chance for anything. Yeah. So, additionally, uh, the Colts are at home this weekend. Two exciting one and four teams, the Houston Texans against the Colts at 1 o'clock on CBS. And the Packers are at the Bears at 1 o'clock on Fox. How about the Browns? Where, what's happening with them this weekend? You know, I don't know. They're having a good year so far. I mean, they are, they are. I'm very uh, pleased with what they've done this year. Um, I keep joking that maybe this is the year we make it to the playoffs, but we'll see. We'll see. There's always, there's always hope. Right? There's always hope. <laughs> always a chance. Tanner's not with us today, but Tanner's offering some tidbits to us. Uh -huh. uh, on this day in 1924, U.S. President Calvin Coolidge declared the State Statue of Liberty a national monument. Ah. We should remember that, Betty, for trivia sometimes. We should. Because uh, sometimes Betty and I do trivia of some things, and uh, presidents is always a stumper, but Betty's our resident president's expert. <laughs> I, I recite them in order in my head to go to sleep. Instead hey. of sheep. Hey, we everybody's were, got their own. <laughs> but you only get to like the third or fourth one, right? Before I you fall asleep. <laughs> it depends on the night. Okay. 
Also on this day in 1939, LaGuardia Airport opened in, in New York City. Okay. And it's probably still the same as it was then if you've been through that airport. Probably. It's not the nicest airport. <laughs> same baggage handling. <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> also on this day in 1951, I Love Lucy did, did, debuted on CBS. Oh. Ah, sure did well for itself. Very interesting thing. You know what production company started Star Trek? I have no clue. Dizzy Lou Productions. Ah. There's something for your trivia. Yeah. 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 You could have stumped me right there. (laughs) Okay. Because I would never have guessed that. Okay, mark that out. uh, We stumped Paul for one thing. (laughs) (laughs) Today is World Students Day. Chicken Cacciatore Day. Have you ever made chicken cacciatore? I have not. No, I'm not a a real adventurous cook, as my husband (laughs) volunteers. It's White Cane Safety Day. Also, Global Hand Washing Day. That's always good to celebrate. Hand washing think, in our yeah, environment. I mm-hmm. think right now, every day is Global Hand yeah. Washing Day. Keep every washing hour. for 20 seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sing happy birthday as you do it. <laughs> we have some upcoming events. Uh, the Downtown Partnership has announced that trick or treating will be Friday, October 29th from 4.30 to 5.30. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, there will be specific instructions on how you walk around the town on that. Yep. The 16th annual Honored Woods Trail will be at the Fulton County Museum grounds on October 22nd and 23rd, and the following weekend, the 29th and 30th. Tours start at 7:30 until finish. Tickets are $8 for adults, $3 for children, and all proceeds support the museum. It's a, we have a great museum out there, and this is a yes, good financial do. supporter of that. Uh, have you been to the Haunted Woods Trail? I have not myself, but uh, we're going this year. I'm laughing because uh, Jody and I were talking about this yesterday. I called it the wrong thing. I'm not to tell you what I called it. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, we won't do that to you, Todd. I read the I read the article in the in the paper. The uh, Shopper's Shopper's Guide. Guide. Yeah. And um, it sounds like Fred does does an amazing job out there. I myself am not into scary things, yeah, so I've never know. gone. But that that's, that's just because I'm a chicken. Yeah, Fred's and, a happy uh, participant in the scary. Yes, I the one about him strolling a baby carriage that got left behind with a baby in it by oh, a no. parent that was scared really was I mean I'm sure it wasn't funny to the parent at the moment but it sounded hilarious yeah, on it's, the paper. It's, it's, you got a great sense of humor. <laughs> I know. Also the Civic Players of Love and Sport will be putting on Murder by Farce on October twenty second mm-hmm. and October twenty third and the twenty fourth. The twenty second shows at seven thirty, the twenty third is at seven thirty, October twenty fourth at two thirty at the McHale Performing Arts Center Arts Center in Logansport. Tickets are ten dollars and can be purchased online uh, at seatyourself.biz.cityplayersoflogansport. I'd probably suggest searching Google for that because it's a pretty mm-hmm. long address here. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's special to First Federal Savings Bank because our own Heather Cabins will be playing Mrs. Nancy Walker, the old high school business teacher. Ah. <laughs> and her husband Mike plays Dryson Waiters, the punk teenager. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. If there's any personal comment there with that. Typecasting? Yeah, Surely type not. No, no, no. Mike, I, I know Mike Mike's a, a good bit. He's a good guy, yeah. yeah. And Heather is anything but old. Let's True. just say she doesn't need a little makeup for that. Yeah. <laughs> the Times Theater is holding a scary movie trivia on Monday, October 25th at 7 p.m. at Uncorked. It's so a five people per team, and tickets are sixty-five dollars. So who would be good at that? Because and I, don't like I scary would be movies. terrible at that. Yeah. My two son-in-laws would be perfect at it because they watch scary movies all the time. But well, now see, now you got a team of four built right now. That's <laughs> if they can come up. Then <laughs> <laughs> Betty, and I won't be any help. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so check out the uh, Times Theater group and Uncork. They can give you more information about that. It's a good fundraiser for the Times Theater. Also coming up, hard to believe it's this time of year, we talked about Black Friday. Well, first, the Kiwanis Club turkey dinner has to happen first. Right? Oh, that's yes. right. That's on Monday, November 1st, from 5 to 7 p.m. at the high school cafeteria. It's carry out only this year. Mm-hmm. Tickets are $10 and available at the door or any Kiwanis member. I'm excited mm-hmm. for that. Well, I always go to that. It's always good food. Oh, yeah. Good food. Mm-hmm. See everybody. Actually, Usually it's the politicians thing, but there's no politicians. <laughs> I, mean, so I heard that you can't have an election unless you have that turkey dinner the night before. So. That's true, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it was a good fundraiser for Kiwanis, and it's a good way to go out and see kind of friends and family. Well, even though it's carry out, you can just wave at them in the 
<laughs> in the parking lot. Leave Adam as you pass him. That's right. That's right. Flowers would like to congratulate the winners and everyone involved in the chili cook-off and the Red Hot Car Show last Saturday. Yes. Uh, WROI covered it too. And oh yeah. yeah, it was a great event. Great crowd, great weather. I was out of town unfortunately, but a lot of people are downtown, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, I was told that uh, there were a record number of cars present. Okay. Oh, I That's believe it. that. My goodness, when we came. I mean, you looked left and there were cars, and right there were cars and trucks and just yeah. all kinds. It was, it was quite a quite a scene. It was nice to see. It seems to me like two years ago it was rained out. Maybe or maybe, maybe that's just really my imagination. Cold and, yeah, there was some rain. So yeah. it's great that this we had great weather for it this year with all those cars and lots and lots of people. It was fun. And it was the official debut of WROI on the light pole speaker system too. Oh, so. that was wonderful. Yeah, um, that morning they switched okay. over to the DJ for the event. Okay. But, okay. Uh, yeah, if you were in early enough and stuck around long enough, we mm -hmm. were on. I heard mm -hmm. that this morning. So if you're yeah. downtown now, you can hear WRI coming from the speakers on light bulbs. Kind of a nice touch. That's yes. awesome. Kind of drums mm -hmm. out the traffic noise, which is good. <laughs> yeah, now you can sit in line as you're waiting for the light to change and listen to good music. Yeah, that's great. In money news today, the Dow's finished up uh, quite a bit yesterday, over 500 points. Stocks traded sharply higher based on strong earnings reports from many U.S. corporations. And there's been better than expected data, including fewer jobless claims, which is great news too. And it eased some inflation concerns. So good, good money news this week. Uh, yes. Uh, yours will go back up. Well, I know, eventually. It's <laughs> so a long-term investment. Yeah. Long-term, long-term. <laughs> And also, data showed that the number of Americans filing new claims for unemployment benefits fell close to a 19-month low last week, which is other good news, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. The first federal savings bank were open today from 8.30 to 5, 8.30 to noon tomorrow. You can always bank online or use our ATMs. Use any ATM in the country any now without a surcharge with our MoneyPass network. Uh, we're offering simply free checking accounts and simply free business checking accounts. And when you open it in your checking account, you can still get a free gift. It's the Alster Kitchen Tool Set. That's still available. And also uh, mortgage loans, our specialty in mortgage loans. Uh, we do it better than anybody else. If you have a need for looking at a new purchase or a refinance or home improvement, don't hesitate to check us out. Uh, give Stacy Wilson or Ben Dalton a call and be happy to help you out. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which this radio show video will be posted to our YouTube channel uh, probably Monday or so by then. Yeah. We're the only locally owned bank in Fulton County. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines. We are FDIC insured and an equal housing lender. And our MNLS number is 39927. And that makes us legal. Now the best part of the show, Betty Martins. <laughs> The best, okay. From Promise, Indiana, Fulton County. <laughs> Betty is a lifelong county resident, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, multiple degrees from Indiana University. The best. The best, yes. <laughs> Don't tell my husband that. Yeah, it's a split household, but that's okay. Right, right. Mark's still a good guy sometimes. Yeah, well, yeah. most of the time. Long time teacher in local schools. Mm -hmm. Yes, I taught uh, 14 years in Akron, and uh, then I moved to Rochester and finished my career out there at the, I taught one year at Columbia, then I taught the rest of the time at uh, RMS, at the middle school. And mm -hmm. what were your specialties in teaching? Well, I did uh, second grade, first grade, then I did sixth grade, language arts and social studies, and then the last 17 and a half years I did middle school choir. Okay, Ooh. that's great. <laughs> Yeah. So in those 36 years, you pretty much got to know every single I, student <laughs> in the county probably somewhere. Well, it's funny, when I took this job and I started reading the list of parents, I'm like, oh, I had them, or when we go to an event and see all these kindergarten parents, they're like, oh, Mrs. Martin, are you still working? <laughs> <laughs> well, in a way, but not as a, as a different kind of uh, work. So, yeah, it's been great. That probably explains your passion for Promise Indiana too. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what Promise Indiana Fulton County is? Well, Promise Indiana started in Fulton County uh, in 2016. It was the brainchild of people that worked at the Y in Wabash County. 
and one of their uh, passions was to find out what are the barriers preventing uh, students from pursuing post high school education of any kind after they get out of school. And after a, a bunch of research, I can't tell you how many years they did research or anything, but it was uh, the biggest factor was that if the students didn't have any money at all saved up, it indicated that they probably didn't have a good chance of finishing or enrolling even in post high school education. Um, our accounts, uh, they say in the research that students are three times more likely to start a program and at least three to four times more likely to finish a program of post high school education, even if they only have maybe two or three hundred dollars. I mean, I think a lot of parents think I've got to save tens of thousands of dollars for my child to be successful in post high school education, and that's just not true. So we're, we're trying to dispel that myth. Uh, we're trying to get um, students and parents to start 529 accounts. Uh, the Promise has four um, basic components. One is starting 529 accounts, College Choice Direct, I'll get into that in a minute. Second is Career and College dis Discovery, and that's where um, we do some activities directly with the school, with kindergarten students or uh, K through five students, trying to get them to just ponder the future. Even kids as little as five have a concept of saving. They may not be real good at it, but they know that they saving means a certain thing and uh, they may not know what they want to be when they're 18 or 22 or 25 or 35, whatever, but they do have a concept that they need to save for something, you know, or they save for this or that. So um, we have the third component is a walk into my future. Um, the years past, we've taken uh, students to the Ivy Tech campus in Logansport. We've taken kindergarten, the first year they took K through five and K through six at Caston. Uh, sadly, last year and this year, we haven't been able to have an in-person event. We still had college and career discovery things, activities going on in schools. I saw pictures of um, sweatshirt day or t-shirt day where they were supposed to wear colleges, universities, whatever, uh, of their liking, or hat day, you know, just to bring to mind what kinds of careers they are interested in pursuing and so forth. So that was wonderful. We're planning our walk for the spring instead. We're hoping by then that the COVID situation will be uh, a lot more under control, both for the campus and for our students. And so uh, I'll, I'll be uh, hopefully planning that for April. After well, that's great. Breaks. We're talking with Betty Markhams from Promise, Indiana, Fulton County, and that Ivy Kent trip is, gives the kindergartner basically an idea of what a college campus is like. And right. I know they do lots of hands-on activities during that, too. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of the nice things about having a smaller kind of local campus that the kids can go to. It'd be, I mean, you and I know it. Joe, we know that the best place we take them to Bloomington, but that's kind of a long <laughs> for, for five-year-olds. So, so uh, you know, I think that uh, a lot of students don't have that opportunity for a variety of reasons uh, to go to a college campus. I don't know when you first went, but I remember the first day I took my we took our my older sister to IU. She was ten years older than me, so here I was in second grade, and I was already on a Big Ten campus. Yeah. And a lot of students don't have that. And uh, so we want to give the kids an exposure to that. Um, the last component was, uh, is that the, the idea behind Promise is that the entire community can help families save. And that's such a unique and awesome concept because so many families are like this, I am the only one that can help my child uh, pursue post high school education. This uh, promise is an opportunity for everyone in the community, as much as they can, even if it's $20 or $10, help students with these, with these uh, savings accounts. We have over 700 kids have started, um, so, sorry, almost 700. We have like 690 accounts. That's really amazing because <laughs> I, was, I was doing some research to get ready for today, and I look back at it. When you were on the show three years ago, uh -huh. it was a little over 500. Yeah. So, so going up to 700. Right. And there's lots of dollars in those accounts. Too. Yeah. Well, that's one of the most amazing things is that um, we have, let's see, where's my data here? We've got over $259,000 has been contributed by parents 
over the time of our accounts, which is from 2016. So that's not very long. The local funds, our promise funds, have contributed over $81,000 to their accounts. And the growth shows that the accounts now are worth over $400,000. That's awesome. So they've gained, uh, my husband, the math dude, uh, <laughs> we figured out that the, um, the investments have, have gained about 30% over the course of five years, which is, I love your bank, but, you know, 30% is a lot. And so this is... not going to allow us to pay that today. I, oh, today? Oh, tomorrow maybe. Okay. But um, <laughs> that's one of the things that's great about it is that everyone that donates, uh, every, every person that donates to Promise, as far as the student account fund, every dollar with a, with a small fee that goes to the Foundation for Management, all of it goes into student accounts. So it's, it's truly an amazing program. Um, so we're talking with Betty Martins from the Fulton County, Indiana Promise. Yeah. And then part of the foundation of the, of the program is uh, parents starting 529 accounts. Right. Why don't you talk a little bit about what a 529 account is and okay. how they go about doing that. Okay, 529 accounts are, um, they're labeled College Choice Direct Accounts because that's the organization, the business that, that actually us, us, is where you invest your money. Uh, any parent who wants to start one, that, uh, the Promise covers Caston Schools and Rochester Schools. The reason Akron is not part of the Fulton County Promise is because their corporation office is in Kosciuszko County, so those students would be part of the Kosciuszko Promise instead of the Fulton County one. So I want a disclaimer for that. But we also have a 4-H incentive, which covers any, anybody that's in Fulton County 4-H. And this year, I think it is about $2,500. Uh, Mark's probably checking that on the computer right this moment. Uh, that will go into student accounts from kids who completed projects, participated in workshops. We have a certain criteria that 4-H students. So even if they're not a Fulton County resident or a um, Rochester or Caston student, they can still be, if they're in 4-H in Fulton County, they can still qualify for some of our incentives, which is a great, a great thing too. So if you are interested in starting an account, one thing that's tricky about Promise is that you, a parent has to actually give us permission to contribute money to their students' accounts. We also have to have permission in case their child's image ends up on our Facebook page, like at the Walk Into Our Future and a group of kids or something. So um, you need to go to the Indiana, Promise Indiana Fulton County Facebook page or IYI, which is Indiana Youth Institute.org. Uh, that's our umbrella organization now. Uh, Promise became affiliated with them. It's a much larger organization, has a lot more uh, data research and so forth going on. Uh, and Promise just got so big that the, folk, that the Wabash County Y couldn't quite handle all the management of it. So um, if you go to the IYI page on, fate, um, excuse me, on uh, .org, uh, on just the regular uh, search, you can find, um, look for Fulton County under the Find a Promise Indiana Program site near you. It'll have the unique URL. I keep saying that. It's kind of hard to say. Right. But if you don't use that one and you just go to the College Choice site, it doesn't mean that they can't be part of the promise. It just means that there's an extra step we have to make. If you use the unique URL, your child should end up on my list automatically. So there's additional benefits from that, from what happens in local county? Yes. The county really... You know, other citizen donations to the foundation, exactly. you know, some incentives. Right, and right. It's easy for anybody to start that because, you know, it's, you can start with as little as ten dollars, and even yep. the community can help fund the initial contribution. Right, exactly. We, if you don't have money at the mm -hmm. moment, you set it up. There's a thing that says send a check, and you know that will saying the checks in the mail. Yeah, that's, heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> that's because Promise can send the twenty-five dollars, which is the initial enrollment incentive. And that starts the account. So a family literally doesn't have to put in anything initially unless they can. So that's the whole concept of this. Families can contribute on a regular basis, small amounts, $10, $20, $50 a month. Mm -hmm. And it builds some funds to the continuing education. Right. And the numbers you gave us, three to four times more yes. likely they'll be successful in that. That's awesome. Absolutely. And the, how, the, sort of the compound value of interest, you know, 
Yes. Grown, grown to over 700,000, is that? Uh, uh, no, no. I'm sorry, 250,000. No. <laughs> you need to confuse me. That's right. Oh, well, you're in the numbers. i got to get my paper out for that. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, uh, we all together, we've, Deposited like three hundred something, and now the value is four hundred right, something. Okay. So in five years, so I did three months. Um, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Um, can I give a plug real quick? Yes, yeah, because we have some incentives going on. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. The the biggest thing is um, that on Giving Tuesday, the community foundation has named us one of the organizations that's supposed to get a match. So that's if great. anyone can donate money, this will go straight to the student fund, not the administrative fund. Uh, go straight to the student fund. Um, if you can um, donate on that day, you can even write your check now and date it for November 30th, and it will be matched up to a certain amount. Uh, we'd like a dollar for dollar, but I guess uh, more than one organization has been selected to do the Giving Tuesday, which is which is great. You know, let's benefit everybody. But uh, so it'll at least be a certain amount matched on your. Uh, may not be dollar for dollar, but. Uh, anybody that could contribute to that would be greatly appreciated. Um, we have only $3,895 in our student account right now, and we have a, a first quarter honor roll coming up, and the last honor roll was 3000 So we're so kind of close here. So you donations on Giving <laughs> Tuesday, which will be later in November, approximately around the Thanksgiving time period. Yeah, right after, uh, Tuesday after Thanksgiving. And today is the last day. IYI uh, bought 100 Children's Museum passes to the Indianapolis Children's Museum, 95 MD Zoo passes, these are family passes, and they've already handed out 75 Fort Wayne Zoo family passes. Anybody that has a 529 account that's part of Promise can either email me or call me and get the information on filling out a form, and it is a free membership. So. And it'll be good for a year. So there's 700 students in the Fulton County program, right. so there's still opportunity to get some of those. Absolutely, free absolutely. I know a lot of people uh, have already done it and already received their uh, Fort Wayne membership notification that they've gotten the zoo pass. Uh, but we still have some of the uh, other ones, and I, I know it's a long way to Indy, but our Children's Museum is, if it's not the top ranked one Children's Museum in the country, it's it's at least number one, two. Uh, I've been there so many times, and it is a fantastic museum. They're always bringing things in and, and uh, great activities for kids. Even my granddaughter goes, and she's just, she's not even, uh, she just turned one. So, I mean, there's activities for everybody there. So please, uh, if you have a 529, uh, let me know. It's a um, great benefit. It is, it is. So thank you, Betty. My has <clears throat> been talking about uh, Promise, Indiana, Fulton County, uh, Longtime teacher, the great passion for this. Thank you for all you do in the community. I mean, the fact that 700 students uh, have maybe a little more key to success with some money set aside for them, and any parent can set up. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. Yeah. It, it grows. That's the beauty of the compound value of, in, of interest. Exactly. Exactly. And, uh, that's a mm -hmm. great opportunity to uh, improve the educational opportunities for our students and make our community a better place. Right. Thank you for your passion for this. Thank you. You're welcome, and, and I appreciate the community. Uh, remember, post-high school education can be in traditional school. It can be vocational school. It can be ag school. It can be welding school. Don't limit yourself just because it says college choice. Don't get a mindset that uh, that means it has to be a four-year college because That's a any great point. kind of post-high school education. And the 529 program supports that. Absolutely. Well, as we wrap up today, thank you, Betty, for all your information. Thank There's you. so much information. <laughs> Check out the IYI.org site. Right. I looked mm -hmm. at that yesterday. That can give you more information. Yes. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows Betty. <laughs> give her a call and you see her on the streets, ask her more questions. So <laughs> Thank you so one, much for having me. I appreciate it. One of the benefits of the 529 program, and we didn't talk about this specifically, so I made it harder, Paul. The, uh, it's okay. The it's okay. Indiana, I didn't want to give the answer. The right? Indiana tax credit. So what that means, tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, I am not good at taxes, and once again, Mark can confirm that, but I do know that, that there's a difference between a tax deduction and a tax credit, and a tax credit is simply taking off whatever your bill would be to pay for your taxes. And Indiana, are you ready for your guess on how much Indiana offers for 529 accounts? Yes, I am. Okay. okay, what is your guess? 20%. 20% is right, ding, 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 we have a winner. 20% yeah. uh, is quite a good deal. Now that's up to, in one calendar year, $5,000. So 
let's say someone has $5,000, they put it in one of their kids' accounts, the next year when they file their taxes, they're gonna get $1,000 back, and guess what? They can put that straight back in their kids' account. So it is an awesome, and it doesn't have to be 5,000, it could be 100 over the course of a year, and it's just a great tax break. Not every, uh, not every um, state has a tax break like that for 529. So and I know you fun. use that. We use that for our kids. Paul, <coughs> before the show talk, where you're, you're involved, that's great. Yeah. And trying to plan for the future of our youth, and that's awesome. And that's as we close today. That kind of fits in with our words of wisdom. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Excellent. Robert Louis Stevenson. So planting seeds in the 529. Grows great harvests, right? Yes, certainly does. Well, thank great, you. Great words of wisdom. Thank you so much, Todd. And uh, we'll see you guys again next week. Awesome.